Hi everyone, I haven't done a video like this for quite some time, I've kind of just been trying to focus on like vlogging and stuff, um, but I'm going to do a Primark haul, it's only a very small one, it's just the things I picked up when I went uh, to Lakeside with Nicola on Friday, so this was like last week. Um, I did buy a lot more, but a lot of it was like Christmas presents and I got a few things for myself from my dad for Christmas, if that makes sense, so obviously can't show them because he's taken them so he can wrap them up, but I have got two bags full of stuff. So I thought I would show you what I picked up. So first up is a, a very nice bag that I picked up. I've needed a new one for quite some time. My one's kind of tattered, so I thought I'd pick up this one. It's um, It was in taupe, I think was the color, if that's what it's called. And this is quite nice and round, it's quite a big one. Plenty of space on the inside. And there's even a little like pocket here at the front. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I quite liked it when I picked it up and I still liked it when I got home, but I'm not sure if it's too big can't decide but um yes I've picked that up anyway I picked up quite a lot of clothes but again I can't show you all of them so I'm just gonna have to show you the ones that I've kept and my dad didn't take um I picked up this like grey sweater top thing um I'm not really sure how to describe it to be honest but um yeah so got this so it's got a nice little collar bit here at the top if I can get rid of the tag got a nice little collar at the top Nice long sleeves, it's really nice and thick as well, and it's got like a little um, chiffon blouse bit on the bottom, which is just kind of sewed into the hem. So it's really nice and long, it's nice and like snuggly and stuff, so perfect for winter. I also got this in a brown colour, which is what my dad's given me for Christmas, so I've got two of those. Um, underwear, don't really need to show you that, but bought some of that because I needed some. I'm also getting quite into like shirt dresses at the moment and I've already got a um, like a red, black and white checkered one from Primark and um, I wanted to get another one so I found this green, navy and white one which is quite nice and long and it's also got a uh, brown belt with it which I probably won't wear with it but um, nice and long sleeved again which you can roll up if you're like me and you prefer a bit like a three quarter length. It's nice and long, it really does cover you up as well and it's quite thick which is going to be quite nice for winter. I'm probably going to wear this with like tights or leggings. I got a nice little um, night jacket to go with it which I've already got so I bought and that. the final item of clothing that I picked up is a Star Wars themed one. If you've noticed Primark have done a lot of like geeky and nerdy fandom clothes this year and last. At the moment they're kind of focusing on Star Wars and The Whole Force Awakens so they're cashing in on that one. So the last item of clothing I bought for this little haul is this Yoda one for me top which I think is so cool and obviously it's got Yoda on it. It's a really long top as well it could probably pass as quite a short dress but I would definitely wear this with like leggings or something. It's a nice short sleeved one and it's got a round neck and it's only like £7 which I think is quite good for a Star Wars t-shirt. And sticking with the Star Wars theme I kind of went a little bit crazy. Um, I also bought some other little bits and pieces. I bought some um, like pyjamas and another top and some other little bits that were Star Wars related but again my dad's giving me those for Christmas so I won't be able to show you that until my Christmas haul. But I did pick up these uh, Star Wars LED lights, which I think are absolutely adorable. You've got Darth Vader and Stormtroopers, which you might be able to see there. And these are only £5, which isn't that bad. Normally their LED lights are about £3 from Primark, but these ones are £5 because I'll see you next Star Wars. But I think they're so cool. I'm really excited. I'm probably going to change my stars around my bed and have these ones up instead. And the final thing for my Star Wars theme is I got a little bit excited when I saw this. Uh, the Star Wars bed sheets. <laughs> I've got the uh, duvet cover set which is in the double because I've got double beds so you've got Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper on it as well as the Star Wars logo. This was £18. Um, I didn't see how much the single bed one was but they only done single and double. They look so cool. They've got like the Death Star on it and like X-Wings on the back. I'm so excited about this. Basically, I'm going to have a very Star Wars themed Christmas here. Um, it does actually say on the back it's reversible. So I'm kind of wondering if there's something else on the other side. But again, we'll have to see once I put them on my bed. I then ventured into the home section, more like well, the home and beauty bit. And I found for £3 this travel cutlery set, which is like a travel kit. Um, it says on a bit of paper on the inside it's got a fork a spoon and a knife when I opened it though I had the fork head and the bit for the spoon but there's no knife in it instead I had two bits that you can like put these little bits on to clip together and you got chopsticks so I'm not sure what happened to my knife or if they even was actually one or they've just labeled it wrong but 
I've got a spoon, fork and chopsticks there, which I'll probably be using to take to work with me when I have like my pastas and stuff. But yeah, that's not too bad. I'm a little miffed there's not a knife though, to be really honest. But yeah, that was £3 and I only had it in green. I'm assuming there's another one. I'm making such a mess of this right now. There's probably like another colour or something, but mine's in green. And then I ventured into the beauty section and picked up uh, these two perfumes. I did pick up some other ones, but again, my dad's got those. So these are the two that I've kept for myself for the time being. And we got Dark Flower, which is £6, and Love Gold, which was 8 They had so many nice perfumes and I wanted to have them all. They had some like other love ones. They had a floral one and there's like a glitter bomb one or something. They had about 10 different ones, I think. So Primark have really been branching out into their beauty section at the moment and I'm so happy I got these. So this is the Love Gold. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, which is so nice. It did have a little um, gem in this little bit here, but it's fallen out somewhere, but I think that's so nice and it smells absolutely delicious. Um, the scent says a precious blend of sparkling citrus enveloped in sensual white jasmine with rich musks and plums. And it's just, oh, it's such a nice smell. And then for eight pounds, that's a really good size bottle as well, I think. And the dark flower one is this, a lovely purple, which I'm obsessed with purple, my bedroom is purple. It's got like a little floral pattern on the back. This one is only 75 milliliters, but again, that's such a good price. So like, you know, six pounds, I think it's 95 milliliters. It's such a nice little bottle as well. Uh, this one is a captivating floral fragrance with rose and peony flower combined with fresh mandarin essence and the sultry amber. Uh, I am, oh, I'm just so happy with these. I absolutely love them. I can't wait to see what the other ones look like as well because obviously I only tried like the samples that they had. But oh, this is so nice. Uh, that is it for my extremely small and very quick Primark haul. Um, I didn't obviously pick up a great deal to keep for myself. Most of it is for like Christmas presents and stuff. I'm sorry my phone keeps going off. But um, that's it for this little video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much. Um, all my links are in the description box below. And my blog, Twitter, Instagram, it's all in there if you want to go check it out. I'm going to try to take some photos of these and probably put them up on my blog quite soon. Or I might have done it already. I really don't know yet. But um, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.